Leaving the comforts of one home for a new home can be cause for a bit of apprehension, especially when the new home looks like a real hole in the ground on first look. But these black-footed ferrets released in late October in the Shirley Basin area seem to like it just fine. In fact, since ferrets were first reintroduced to these areas back in 1991, they've set themselves up well. Wyoming Game and Fish Department non-game biologist Dana Nelson says 15 ferret kits and seven adult ferrets released this day in the Shirley Basin are finding an area with a good prey base for survival. Uh, anyone who's been to Shirley Basin, I think, would recognize just how much prairie dog acreage there is here. Um, there are so many prairie dogs spread out across an expansive area, so many acres of really great habitat for prairie dogs, which means great habitat for ferrets. Black-footed ferrets almost exclusively eat prairie dogs and rely on prairie dog burrows for shelter, safety, and a place to raise their young. It's one of America's most endangered mammals. Thought to be extinct in the 1970s, black-footed ferrets were rediscovered on a ranch near Matitsi in 1981. A captive breeding program was started by Game and Fish and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in 1986 and continues today, releasing ferrets throughout western North America. In 2016, 35 ferrets were reintroduced to the same area in Matitsi they were rediscovered, and 13 captive bred kits and one adult were released to supplement that population last month. That area has now seen back-to-back -back years of success in recording new litters of wild-born kits. The Shirley Basin area is seeing similar success with ferret reproduction this year, despite fluctuating populations in that region as the very first reintroduction site for black-footed ferrets. These types of recovery efforts are possible due to landowner support and partnerships with other agencies, which is needed for ferrets to be released in many wild areas. In August of next year, Game and Fish will return to this area for some post-release monitoring to determine how many ferrets have had litters and get an update on the overall population of ferrets in this region. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.